Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Adam Fugit versus Josh Quinlan. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence um Josh Quinlan to beat Adam Fugit. I think it's a tight matchup. And you know, it can go a lot of ways and whatnot. But um, yeah, I had to look back at both of their performances. Like you can say, oh, um, Fugit did this, Fugit did that. And you can say this say that, but um, yeah, ultimately, I just feel like it's coming down to Quinlan's. He's a bit younger. He's like 31 versus like a 35 year old fully, which is 35, not really a bad age, especially at this level. If you were to say like this is a guy that's trying to, well, it all, it all, it's all it depends. Cause some guys be like real good and they could peak and they become champions in th at 35. It all depends. So by the way, no matter how you look at it, 35, is not like it's not the shutoff age. Like this could be the age you, you start coming to your own or, you know, you've, your prime was later on to be other people's prime start at 30 and ends at 35. Your prime starts at 35, ends at 41. You know, people, everybody different, especially for the, the guys that don't you know, come out, start off as like that special talent, like those kind of journeyman fighters, they kind of, their peaks kind of different. Like they were never were the most athletic or most talented, but they wanted it more. They got their skills up. So it could kind of match the talent of the other guys. And then, yeah, so different strokes, different folks. But um, yeah, with this one, I feel like, I feel like Fugit is the more experienced, more tactical fighter here, to be honest. Like, I guess IQ, maybe. I don't know where I'm going with this one. Because Quillen does, I feel like he is the more way around the fight. I feel like he's the better wrestler, better grappler between the two. So I, that's another thing. Yeah, I'm not even going to hold. He's the better, this, better. I feel Quillen is the better overall fighter. I feel like Quillen can be a little bit predictable more than um, Fugit is. That's what I would say. But I don't think Fugit is. Like gonna be so much this or so much that in any particular area, and I, what I do feel is does stand out for me. I feel like um, they both took a lot of shots. They both been stopped, but I feel like Fugit is not that durable. I feel like when you hit him with power to the body, he, you know he, you see him feel it. I feel like Quinlan has a much better poker face. I feel like he's more durable. I feel like he packs more power. I feel like he's more explosive. I think he's explosive more fast, more faster. He's fast, yeah, explosive faster. And I feel like he has the power to hurt him to the body. And also in both of his fights where he lost, I feel like he had good moments. I'm forgetting both of those guys' names right now. But Memphis boy, he he caught him a couple shots there, you know, made him stall for a point. The tall, lanky, lanky dude that could box pretty well. He like caught him a good shot a couple times in that fight. So it's not like he was just shut out and dominated in both of those fights. He had moments in both of those fights. Not no big moments, but he, you know, he has the power to, you know, court those guys' attention. And I don't feel like Fuga had, you know, and they did a pretty good defense. They worked, you know, for pretty fundamental. He was able to find them. And I think if he could find, you know, Fuga, which I think he would be able to find. Fuga, I don't feel like Fuga has such amazing defense. I feel like he hurt him to the body. And I think he particularly could hurt him to the chin. And I'm looking at like a second round TKO for Josh Quinlan. I think Fuga will come out good, you know, mixing up pretty well. But I think um, Quinlan going to be the throwing combinations and cracking big shots. Or he could also go to the grappling to, you know, give him a different look. Maybe start mixing takedown if it's, the strike is not going the way. And then that gives um. Fugit's something different to look at out and then, you know, fake like you're going to go for an explosive takedown and then come up with a big shot, crack um, Fugit and finish him off second round. But either way, I kind of see him, you know, the fight, you know, ending with a strike that leads to some follow-up ground and pound. And I'm seeing it in the second round. So in this one, I got Josh Quinlan via second round TKO.